Further details regarding the die sizes, clock speeds, and PCIe Gen 4 connectivity for AMD Radeon RX 6600 series graphics cards based on the Navi 23 RDNA 2 GPU have leaked out by Igor's lab. But first, a word from our sponsor. Getting rid of that annoying Activate Windows logo is easy and inexpensive thanks to BobKeys.com, where you can get a genuine lifetime Windows key. Simply head over to www.BobKeys.com and enter Microsoft Windows 10 Pro and you'll be off to get your own Windows 10 Pro key and take full control of your computer once again. Make sure and use promo code WT25 for 25% savings when checking out. And once you have your key, head over and activate Windows and you're good to go as this key will not expire. We have already seen the specifications of the Navi 23 RDNA 2 GPU powered AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT and Radeon RX 6600 graphics cards leak out last week. The new details shed light on the die size and the clock speeds of the graphics cards. The source states that the Navi 23 GPU will feature a 35 by 35 millimeter package with a die size measuring around 235.76 millimeters squared. Now this is just slightly smaller than AMD's Navi 10 GPU, which measured in at 251 millimeters squared, and this is to incorporate a new range of technologies such as Infinity Cache, PCIe Gen 4 interface, and a slightly larger core with hardware accelerated ray tracing tech. The on-screen image represents the block diagram of the AMD Navi 23 GPU package. The image credit goes to none other than Igor's lab. But as far as clocks and TDPs, the source only acquired specifications for the mobility AMD Radeon RX 6600 cards. The RX 6600 GPU family will be incorporated into several notebook designs featuring Ryzen CPUs and possibly Intel in the future. The cards will range from 90, 80, and 65 watt TDP designs. As for clock speeds, the 90 watt variant has a maximum cl graphics clock speed of 2.35 gigahertz, which is 350 megahertz lower than the 2.7 gigahertz clocks featured on the desktop variant. It looks like the desktop variant will come with a TDP of around 150 watts. As for memory, both AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT and non-XT models will feature an 8GB G6 memory capacity as reported by the previous leak, but mobility variants will ship with as low as 4GB memory along a 64-bit bus, as high as 16GB of memory as well. The 16GB DRAM chips are said to be utilized for the higher capacity mobility variants, but it doesn't make much sense to chip a Navi 23 chip with this much memory, and it would make sense for a marketing perspective, but GDDR6 isn't the cheapest memory type, and availability and cost would mean that notebooks featuring this GPU variant will be hard to find and really expensive. Now, PCIe connectivity would be Gen 4 compliant, but there will be a x 8 connection instead of a x 16 now do note that PCIe Gen 4x8 provides the same bandwidth as PCIe Gen 3x16, so there's really no disadvantage here. Display capabilities can include up to 5 outputs in the form of DisplayPort 1.4a, HDMI 2.1, and SLDVI. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT graphics card will be powered again by the Navi 23 XT GPU, which is going to feature 32 compute units or 2048 stream processors, and the card will rock 64 megabytes of Infinity Cache and will feature an 8 gigabyte G6 memory capacity running across a 128 bit bus interface. And the pin speed will be kept at 16 gigabits per second, which will allow for a total bandwidth of 256 gigabytes per second. As per the rumor, the card is expected to feature about 30 mega hashes per second in the terms of Ethereum mining. And in terms of synthetic performance, the card scores 9,439 points and 3D Mark Time Spy graphics test. The RX 6600 series, referring specifically to the 6600 XT, will be positioned as a premium 1080p gaming solution, offering faster performance than the RTX 3060, but as for pricing, we expect it to be around the $299 US price tag for the Navi 23 lineup if AMD wants it to succeed anyway, especially if it's a 1080p card going up against the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, which already MSRPs for 329, except, according to the later numbers, Looks like it's going to cost you about three times that much, so $299 may not be that bad. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.